so this is the circuit diagram of an active high pass filter so in order to make an active high pass filter we need an active element here we are using IC operational amplifier IC 741 for this purpose it comes with 8 pin dual inline package insert IC 741 in a breadboard and then connect power supply for an IC 741 we need a dual power supply plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt for its proper working so connect plus 15 volt to pin number 7 and then connect minus 15 volt to pin number 4 connect ground terminal separately at the bottom of the breadboard so uh, we need the ground terminal for our connection now the power supply connections are completed now we have to make the filter section in order to make the filter section we need two components a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor and a 15 kilo ohm resistor first connect 0 0.01 microfarad ceramic disc capacitor to pin number 3 pin number 3 is the non inverting input terminal of operational amplifier and then connect 15 kilo ohm resistor connect to pin number 3 and ground so uh, in a passive low pass filter passive high pass filter we need only two components a capacitor and a resistor so in active high pass filter we need an active element here we are using operational amplifier IC741 now the filter section is completed now we have to connect the feedback resistor which is 10 kilo ohm connect feedback resistor between pin number 6 that is the output terminal of operational amplifier and pin number 2 pin number 2 is the inverting input terminal of operational amplifier and then connect a load resistor here we are using 10 kilo ohm as load resistor connect 10 kilo ohm to pin number 6 and 2 pin to the ground terminal Now connect a 10 kilo ohm resistor to pin number 2. It is the you know, inverting input terminal of operation amplifier and ground. So this is an operational amplifier configuration. Here the configuration is non-inverting amplifier configuration. So the phase of input and output both are the same, but the amplitude will be greater than 1 the voltage gain equation of non inverting operation amplifier is 1 plus rf by ri here both rf and ri both are 10 kilo ohm so the ratio of rf and rf and ri will be 1 so the voltage gain of the circuit is 1 plus 1 that is 2 so in the pass band amplitude of the output will be 2 times that of the input here uh, we will feed an input sine wave with a 2 volt as the peak to peak so the passband amplitude of output will be 4 volt in peak to peak now connect input to the ceramic disc capacitor 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor and then connect DSO channel 1 to the input and in order to observe the output connect DSO channel 2 to the output output is the pin number 7 6 output terminal of operation amplifier is the pin number 6 now connect the output to DSO channel 2 now the connections are completed now we have to set the input waveform so in function generator or signal generator uh, select a sine wave with amplitude 2 volt as peak to peak and then vary the frequency of input sine wave from few heads to kilohertz here uh, the operation amplifier is in non-inverting op amp configuration so oh, input and output both are in phase and the cutoff frequency of the circuit is 1 kilohertz so up to 1 kilohertz this fill uh, this filter will attenuate the input greatly and 
output will be very small and after 1 kilohertz output will be pass from input to output and amplified by a factor of 2 because the amplitude gain of the circuit is 2 so in the passband the amplitude of output will be 4 volt in peak to peak now increase the input frequency from few hertz to kilohertz you can see the difference Now you can see that after uh, 1 kilohertz output is increasing. The advantage of active high pass filter over a passive high pass filter is that we can adjust the gain of the circuit by sele selecting RF and RI. So in passive high pass filter output will be always less than that of the input because an attenuation will be introduced by the resistor and capacitor in passive uh, passive high pass filter but in active high pass filter we can uh, overcome that limitation by selecting proper gain but the one of the main disadvantage of, of, of an active high pass filter is that the limitation of uh, gain bandwidth product so at very high frequency output will be limited by the gain bandwidth product of our operational amplifier so in an active high pass filter at very high frequency output will be greatly attenuated due to the gain bandwidth product limitation that is the main disadvantages of an active high pass filter over passive high pass filter